Hey students, hope you all are doing well. I am here again with another session on the novel Sherlock Holmes. Do you guys remember what we discussed in our previous session? We had discussed about Sherlock Holmes and the main character about the and about the writer. Hello students, hope you all are doing well. I am here again with another session. Today we will be reading and getting into the details of chapter 2 to chapter 6 and part 2. So let's have a small recap of whatever what happened in this story before. So uh, Mr. Holmes was a detective. He investigated and solved many cases. He had a friend named Dr. Watson who helped Sherlock in solving cases. Sherlock Holmes and Mr. Watson were sitting in his house and were, they were discussing and arguing over a different thing uh, when a letter arrived on Mr. Holden, Cubit, in Riding Park, North, North Pole. His letter included a drawing of, of something dancing, like he created more dancing, and it was about, uh, and it was very serious and really wanted to meet Mr. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. So the other day, uh, next day, uh, Mr. Cooper came and he met Sherlock Holmes and he told him about what happened, what had happened. So these pictures wouldn't have caused Mr. Cooper to be concerned, but his wife named Elsie uh, got scared after seeing it. Uh, they were married since like a year and they were really happy. So Mr. Cooper was really worried and asked if Mr. Holmes to help him. Mr. Holmes asked Mr. Cooper to come home. He turned home and asked his wife about all this. So now in part 2. So now in uh, the dancing and part 2, uh, the first topic is that the following is something that has happened. So this is, it started off with Mr. Watson being very concerned, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, the, Mr. Sherlock Holmes being very concerned and stressed about issues with Mr. Cupid that Mr. Cupid had told him. He checked the drawings again and again so that he can make sense of it. One day after two weeks, he received a letter from Mr. Cubitt and stated that something has happened and I will come and let you know. Mr. Cubitt came and told Mr. Sherlock Holmes that he had seen more drawings and saw that man as well. So the next heading is Cubitt's Chief Stranger. Mr. Cuby tells Mr. Watson that one night, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, that he, one night he was sitting in his office at 2 a.m. at night. His wife came and asked him to sleep and not to worry. So then suddenly he saw some men in his garden and he decided to go after him with a gun, but his wife is to stop him from going. The guy ran away, but when Mr. Cuby went outside, he saw some more joints in the door. Next morning he couldn't see a man, but saw some more joints again. As he got more frightened and Mr. Cubitt was really worried about it. Mr. Holmes asked Mr. Cubitt to go home and send the drawing. So, uh, Mr. Sherlock Holmes sent the drawing to a telegram or letter so that he can get it decoded. We go to North Welshian. Is the next topic. Uh, after two days, while Mr. Holmes was waiting for the response of his letter, he received more drawings from Mr. Cubitt, which made him worry. He wanted to set off immediately for North Welshian, but there was no train available. He had to wait till next morning. Next morning, they went to North Welshian, and when they reached, there was station. There was a station master who asked them if they were detectives and if they were going to Wiggling Thorpe Manor. It was the house of Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. The station master told them that trying to stay at their house, Mr. and Mrs. Cubitt were, were shot and Mr. Cubitt had died while Mrs. Cubitt was alive. So uh, this is the end of the chapter. So in this chapter, in the end, uh, you know that we all came to know that Mr. Cubitt had died. And, uh, he was shot and Mr. Cubitt was also shot. Now let's see what happened in the next chapter. and. Uh, this is the story up till now. It has become so interesting, isn't it? 
all right please go through the video on the link attached below or uh, the video i'm attaching with it and so that you can have a better idea of the chapter and see the chapter and underline the particular words as well thank you okay so i am going to attach a link in the description below uh, please watch the video and and then uh, so that you can have a better idea of the story